They say every day is for the thief, one day for the owner of the house. But ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission, has reversed the role. It is now every day for the owner of the house. If you're involved in bribery, over-invoicing, or any shady deal, the day of reckoning has come. ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission, is watching you. If you're reported for any corrupt practice, you'll be investigated, prosecuted, and punished. Corruption is harmful to our nation. Join the campaign against it by reporting any corrupt practice to ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission. Let me join hand with ICPC, make them better. Let's make Nigeria great again. ICPC, they want to hand for corruption. Break the chain of corruption now. Don't give, don't take. This message is brought to you by ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission. Cooperative societies in Nigeria play a significant role, not only to impact the lives of members, but also to stimulate economic development through collaborative efforts. These societies are usually structured to effectively empower members with resources they need to augment their salaries or business interests as well as to help members save their funds for a rainy day. Today on the program, we shall beam a such light on the 13th Annual General Meeting of the ICPC Staff Multipurpose Cooperative Society held recently at the Commission's headquarters in Abuja. But first, Joy Aja is standing by with updates on happenings around the world of the Commission. My name is Murna Barnabas Atia. Hello viewers, thank you for staying with us. I am Joy Aja with Anti-Corruption Stories. The chairman of ICPC, Professor Bolaji Owasoni SAN, has stated that moral regeneration was key to reducing corruption in the society. The chairman stated this in his goodwill message during a two-day stakeholders workshop on moral regeneration in the Universal Basic Education Program, which was organized by UBEC. Professor Wasonye, who was represented by Mr. Mohammed Ashiru Baba, Director of Public Enlightenment and Education Department of ICPC, noted that it was important to inculcate moral reorientation and regeneration in the life of the Nigerian child. The ICPC boss, while congratulating UBEC on their foresight in organizing the workshop, highlighted some of the Commission's interventions in reducing corruption to the barest minimum through educating youth outreach projects, which have improved the quality and standards of education in the nation. It gives me great pleasure to deliver a good message at this auspicious occasion of a two-day workshop for officials of Universal Basic Education Boards and other key stakeholders on moral regeneration, organized by the Universal Basic Education Commission. Let me begin by commending UBEC for its foresight in organizing this very important workshop. The theme of the workshop, Moral Regeneration, is apt in view of the pivotal role it plays in the process of education for nation building. It is said that an educated man without morals is a burden to the society. In other words, an educated but immoral person 
is merely informed and not educated. For education goes beyond passing through the four walls of a university. We in ICPC believe that moral regeneration is key to reducing corruption to bear its minimum in our society. A morally upright person is a person of integrity who has developed a thick skin against corruption and other moral behavior, immoral behaviors. We therefore believe that if most Nigerians and those who do business with Nigeria are morally upright, the fight against corruption is as good as one. It is on this belief that ICPC introduced several moral regeneration programs in line with this mandate of preventing corruption and educating and mobilizing members of the public as encapsulated in section 6B to F of the Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Act 2000. In line with this particular provision of the law, we have introduced some of uh, some moral regeneration programs such as the National Values Curriculum, formation of anti-corruption clubs in secondary schools and anti-corruption vanguards in tertiary institutions, the National Ethics and Integrity Policy, which was launched by Mr. President, President Muhammadu Buhari in September 2020, the Local Government Integrity Training Series, the Ethics and Integrity Compliance Co-Card, administers administered on ministries, departments, and agencies, and of course the national initiative against sexual harassment in schools. I'll single out the national violence curriculum because it is more relevant to these conversations. The national violence curriculum was developed in conjunction with the Nigeria Educational Research and Development Council, the 12 core values of honesty, patriotism, fairness, justice, integrity, etc., contained in the curriculum have been infused into examinable subjects such as English language, mathematics, civic education, social studies, religious studies, etc., for teaching at all levels of education from primary school to university. Speaking at the event, the UBEC Director of Teacher Development, Mr. Aleshin Ulumayowa, explained that the workshop was organized to bring together various stakeholders to address the decadence of morals and values of turn and to ensure children and youth follow the right path in the society. The teacher is the one who you have assigned the future of your child and the future of the country. And at the end of the day, if you don't pay that, 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 that person you have given that responsibility, well, you can't expect but I'm not doing that to excuse any, anybody from any 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 of duty or problems of the system. Yes, we have challenges, but these challenges are going to be much more complicated as we ignore the moral dimension of of the problem. And I think that's what I'm that's what I'm now. Please let's look at these things. Not just in the normal way of trying to say, well, yeah, we can, we can, we can do this, we can add this curriculum, we can do that. Yeah, we can do all. We have been doing that. Thank you. I think we need to sit up seriously, look at those issues. Where are we playing? How are these problems getting complicated? Make sure that our children come to school in a decent, you know, have a decent environment where they can learn. They can, they can learn things that can be beneficial to themselves, to their families, and to the country at large as a whole. And would be able to have those values that we all talk about. To imbue them and to be able to make that difference, to push the country to its limits. Instead of going with one of Yahoo group, now there are those that will be cracking that brains of how to get the best uh, maybe up again in it that can solve a problem, can do this, can do that, and so on and so forth. 
people can apply to agriculture, can apply to education, make a difference. We have the people, we have the base, we have the people who can, who can, who can, who can teach these kids to make that difference. ICPC has secured the conviction of Umar Husseini, a lawyer to former Controller General of Nigeria Customs Service, the late Abdullahi Diko, over a 1.1 billion era fraud. ICPC had arraigned Husseini before Honorable Justice Ijoma Ojuku of the Federal High Court Abuja over his complicity in inducing the Managing Director of Cambio Limited, Mr. Yemi Obadeyi, who was a complainant to pay 1.1 billion naira into the account of Capital Law Office on the 6th of March 2010 as refundable completion security deposit for the procurement of 120 units of houses as residential accommodation for custom officers. When the matter was filed for trial, the convict deployed a lot of delay tactics to stall the trial, including filing a no-case submission before the court, arguing that the said sum paid into the account of Capital Law Office was induced by the deceased former Controller General and a former Deputy Controller General, Garba Bala McCarthy, who instructed Mr. Obadeh to pay the money. And that set the chain for a long legal tussle. However, prosecution was able to sufficiently link the defendant to the alleged offenses with prima facie evidence. Justice Ojuku thereafter found Husseini guilty on two counts of obtaining by false pretense, contrary to and punishable under the Advance Fee Fraud and Other Related Offenses Act 2006. The trial judge then sentenced him to seven years prison term on each count with an option of fine of 100 million naira. The sentences are to run concurrently. He was also ordered to pay the sum of 100 million naira as compensation to the complainant Yemi Obadeyi and the company Campbell Limited. That will be all on this segment. Corruption must go continuous with Muruna. Please stay with us. Tuning in, this is Corruption Must Go. And our focus is on the 13th AGM of the ICPC staff multipurpose cooperative society. The cooperative society was set up to improve the social welfare of members, encourage thrift, and ensure that members are assisted to save and have access to loans at reasonable interest rates, among other objectives. Declaring the 13th AGM open, ICPC Chairman Professor Bolaji Owasoye SAN, who was represented by the Secretary to the Commission, Professor Musa Usman Abubakar, tasked the staff to learn to be prudent in their expenses and always live within their legitimate income. He also warned them to be wary of financial institutions, especially loans sharks who offer loans with heavy repayment burden. I want to advise staff to always learn to be prudent in their expenses, live within their legitimate income, and avoid taking such loans as they come with heavy burden that may plunge the, uh, one into financial embarrassment. I want to reiterate that financial embarrassment is a serious misconduct that can lead to dismissal if established. 
I'm aware today is the election day for another set of uh, executives. I advise that you elect credible persons to pilot the, the society for the next two years. I hope incoming executives will learn the excellent job of the outgoing executives headed by Mr. Joshua Wakili and also to build on their achievements. The outgoing executives have done extremely well and we are very proud of their achievements. <laughs> it is my expectation that the annual general meeting and the elections will be robust and fruit fruitful deliberations for a way forward. On this note, on behalf of the Honorable Chairman, I humbly declare the 2022 Annual General Meeting of the SPC Staff Cooperative Society open. You're still watching Corruption Must Go, and our focus is on the 13th AGM of the ICPC Staff Multipurpose Cooperative. In order to ensure its viability, a cooperative society must be built on the foundation of equality, equity, honesty, openness, and social responsibility. The AGM is the avenue through which the affairs of the society are brought to the front burner for scrutiny and appraisal. Highlighting the gains of the ICPC Multipurpose Cooperative Society under the current management during the year under review, the President, Barrister Joshua Wakili, stated that a major policy thrust of his administration is the promotion of welfare and enhancement of the living conditions of members. A major poli policy thrust of this administration is the promotion of welfare and en enhancement of the living conditions of members. In the bid to achieve these goals, the Society assisted a total of 33 staff with mortgage funds which was utilized in procuring houses they now occupy. Similarly, the society has also extended its hands of support to not less than 50 staff in number who at the moment are building their residential homes in Abuja and different parts of the country. Emergency loan is considered a very critical welfare issue and as such is being attended to daily or at most once in two days without much consideration for whether the applicant is qualified or not. While bulk loan is paid timelessly, subject to availability of funds, condolence letters, calls, and visits are recognized and observed in the event of the demise of our member or his or her loved one. The AGM also witnessed the presentation of the 2022 audited annual report where a surplus of over 46 million naira was recognized for appropriation, out of which 45% of the amount was recommended for payment as dividend. The cooperative for the period was able to garner the sum of 64.6 million naira as revenue recognized, out of which an expense of 17 million, expenses of 17 million, 253,236 naira, 74 kobo, was incurred in the period under review. Thus, the result to a net profit, or net surplus, sorry, of the sum of 646,804,345 naira point 43 kobo for appropriation. This is the amount that the, corporate, that the audit committee, after carefully going through the accounts, this is the amount we have come to conclusion that should be appropriated in line with the bylaw or the provisions of the bylaw. Therefore, I will state the provisions 
on how these 46 million naira, 46.8 million naira will be uh, appropriated. The first line is the statutory reserve as per the bylaw is 25%. For those that are sharp, you can begin to compute. 25% of that 46 million will be kept as statutory reserve. The provision of 2% of that 46.8 million naira as general reserve. The one that concerns you and I, and we are waiting to receive, which is still subjective, is subjective from the angle of the audit committee, <laughs> is the proposed dividend. And 45% of that amount has been earmarked by the law to be shared as dividend. High point of the AGM was the administration of oath of office on the new executive members of the society who will pile up the cooperative affairs for the next two years. Favor or ill will and good conscience to all the members of the ICPC multipurpose, staff multipurpose society. So help me God. Welcome back. Interestingly too, the celebration coincided with the 2023 International Women's Day celebration with hashtag Embrace Equity. The spokesperson of the commission, Mrs. Azuka Ogugua, used the avenue to do a brief talk to the cooperators on the importance of the International Women's Day. Take a listen. Women are very special because we are wives, we are mothers, we are sisters, we are home managers, we are administrators, we are teachers, we are professionals, and we are everything. So in a home, we are very important. In the office, we are very important. And today is a special day dedicated to women. And as the cooperative was meeting, we thought it wise that we should speak to ourselves, appreciate ourselves. The theme of this year's International Women's Day is Embrace Equity. And that speaks to embracing fairness for women. That speaks to giving women a fair chance to contribute to the society. In ICPC, the management has done a lot to ensure that women are comfortable. And we want to appreciate, through the secretary to the, who represented the honorable chairman, what the board is doing to ensure that we have equity here. In ICPC, it may interest us to know, and our visitors too, that ICPC has a crutch for nursing mothers, which is under reconstruction, we so that nursing mothers sh should come to the office with their babies and feel very comfortable. ICPC also made provision to have a sexual harassment policy, which means that women coming to work are very comfortable knowing that nobody will harass them. Also the men too are comfortable knowing that the women we not <laughs> harass them, you know? We want to give everybody a level playing field. So the commission has made several attempts to make us very comfortable in where we work. Other speakers who made various remarks at the event spoke glowingly of how the ICPC staff multipurpose cooperative society is operating within the ambits of the law. of corruption is widespread. ICPC is deploying every means to get rid of corruption from both the public and private lives of Nigerians. Join ICPC every Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. as you watch Corruption Must Go. ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission. That's our package on today's edition. 
See you again next week, same time, 3.30 p.m. on Wednesday. Also, follow us on our social media handles displayed on your screen. Call us on our toll-free number, 800 22 and other numbers showing on your screen to report cases of corruption. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.